But now let's talk women's football. Reading FC ladies, unfortunately, they were in action last night. They were beaten against Arsenal in the Continental Cup, but it was a cracking game of football. 2-1 to Arsenal. They're in action Sunday afternoon. Let's have a word with striker Lauren Brutton. Lauren, good evening. Hi, you're right. Yeah, very well. Let's start with just reflecting very quickly on yesterday's game, last night's game against Arsenal, because it was quite uh, entertaining in more ways than one, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was a, it to be fair, it was a tough game for us um and we knew it when we were going into it. Um Yeah, no, it was just it they were a really great side. Um we knew going into it we were the underdogs and to be fair, we put out a good show for for the for the club and for everyone there and we nearly scraped it in the end. We got a goal in the last couple of minutes and I don't know if we if we had pushed a little bit harder, maybe a couple of minutes before we could have got a, an equaliser. But yeah, it was a really good game, and um, we'll push on from there. And a lot of talk about the referee as well. Obviously, the second half you were refereed by a Premier League referee. Was it Kevin Oliver? Yeah, uh, Martin Oliver. Yeah, he. I think that's his name. Yeah, he. Um, he was the. He came on for one of the line linesmen. They passed out at half time, I think, and his um, his wife. Um, was obviously refing our game, and he was on in, on the sidelines watching her. So yeah, he he came to he came to watch her, and then he somehow ended up being the lino for our game. So yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, for, I bet for it us. was. Yeah, yeah. Did, I, hopefully, you give him a bit of stick. I used to give him a terrible stick. I really did. But you're in good form. Uh, Lauren, in all honesty, you know you're second in the WSL League Two table. You beat London Bees. I think you hammered them. 8-0, was it, last week. You're in action Sunday afternoon against Watford. They play at Burke Hampstead Football Club. Two o'clock kickoff. Watford a bottom. I know you've got to give them respect, but on paper, surely another three points. On paper, it should be another three points. I mean, th- at this weekend, it is the Continental Cup still. So it doesn't go on to our, any of our league fixtures. Um, we've still got them to play in the league, but this week it is the Cup. So hopefully we do get three points. Um, just to finish off the group stages. And yeah, as you said, on paper, it, it, it should be an easy win for us. But you never know. Because going away to Watford, I mean, last year um, when we went to Watford, we had a, a tough first half against them. And then obviously our fitness showed in the second half and we, we won quite easily. But you never know. This this league, and you know what football's like, anything can happen. So we'll go in there, we'll go in there, you know, making sure that we do a job. And last um, one, Lauren, yourself, you're in good form. I think you've got eight goals in about 16 games there or thereabouts. One in two for a striker. We could do you at Griffin Park tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. Hopefully by the end of the season, I'll have a good few more than that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm feeling good at the moment and hopefully I'll get a, a couple more goals to push us on for the league hopefully promotion and hopefully we're still looking at winning the league so yeah we'll see in the next five games hopefully we'll see what happens good luck for Sunday Sunday afternoon against Watford appreciate your time Lauren on Friday evening good luck and fingers crossed you can get that promotion second in the table behind Doncaster it's a matter of time Yes, no problem. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Redden FC ladies striker Lauren Brutton. As I say, Redden FC ladies against Watford at Burke Hampstead Sunday afternoon. Get yourself down there. It's not that long a journey, is it? 